Up next, round one, Beppis versus Angelica. Trainers, prepare your teams for battle and report to the league attendant when you are ready. Uh, oh, we got gym leaders here. Our sophisticated strategy will overcome trainers of a lower class. Karl Marx? Is there a Karl, Karl Marx around here? A Vladimir Lenin? Mayhaps? I, I want you to speak to this gentleman over here. Um, whoa, she um, disappeared on me there. My Pokemon have saved countless lives on the sea. We're ready for any challenge. Okay, I don't remember what voice I gave you last time. All the world's a stage, and we play the leading role. Can you see past our splendid masquerade? No, uh, GNC, the gym leader. Are you ready for the next round? Yes. Very well, please proceed into the arena. Communist revolution. Yes, and that's how... Okay, I was about to say, the communists would have stopped any, like, um... <laughs> any nuclear problem, but, um... Thinking back, no, th um, th things didn't go as well, like, th th the last time, maybe. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, people of Tandor. Welcome to the first round of the Pokemon League tournament. We have some of Tandor's best and brightest here to dazzle you with their spectacular battling skills. I can feel the anticipation in the air. These trainers have spent their entire lives preparing for this moment. But only one will be crowned championship today. Champion today. <laughs> I'm so good at reading. Who will it be? These trainer skills in battle will determine that answer. <laughs> yeah, that point wasn't the best. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, what voice will I give her? Also, I see Cameron, my dad, and Bambo in the background. Uh. Well, you look like a real strong trainer. Um, I'm Angelica, and I train fairy types. We're cute, but don't let it fool you. We're really strong, too. After all, fairies can step up to this power of dragons, so we aren't afraid of any tough-looking trainers, either. If you aren't acquainted with the power of fairies, then you'll know soon enough. Girl, that was way too long. The rules of the battle will be yes. Follows. No items may be used other than what the Pokemon already hold. The battle will continue until either side has no Pokemon left that can fight. Both trainers are ready then. Battle start! Lady Angelica wants to fight. Sends out a Nymphora. Perfect! Bro, <laughs> We're so not equipped to take these people on! They're level 70 and I'm like 8 levels behind! Oh my god, okay, Stealth Rock. Oh good, it's using Play Rough. I can handle that. Or not! Damn it, I should have used the rare candies so I could get here sooner. I'll do that next battle. Okay, um... Oh! Ancient power, come on. Oh god. Uh. Also, how many Pokemon does she have? Uh, cause I don't think she has that many. Nope, she has a full team. <laughs> We're so dead! Oh god! Uh, of course we get the freaking attack low ring. Perfect. Well, I think this will take down the Nymphora. It did. Good, 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 good. Um, can we level up? Good, good, good. Just like, <laughs> keep, keep calm and a Wino Tiger. Uh, that one was very, uh, very fighting. So I'll send in <clears throat> uh, Drama Sama. Okay, and we'll use 
Let's use Pain Split first. Let's see how much health it has. Okay, not that much. Why did it use Moonblast on something that we'll probably think is a fairy type? Okay, well, let's risk everything on this Psychic. Let's go. I'm like biting all of the skin off my fingers. I'm so nervous. Yeah. Oh, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. Yeah, and Moonblast will kill us, sadly. Uh, let's send in Arcalis and use Flame Impact since they can't uh, heal anyway. Wait, did I not use Stealth Rocks? Or why didn't it take damage? Does it have Magic Guard? Perhaps? Perhaps. Okay, down it goes. Good, 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 good. Okay, what what will she send out next? An Alpico. That's a ice type, so let's keep Arcalise in. Take some rock damage and Mega Evolve and Flamethrower. <laughs> like go all out. Like, I have to remind myself, Mega Evolution is free, just use it. Like, the only other Pokemon I have that can Mega Evolve is Whimsicott, and I don't think I have her uh, Mega Stone. Okay, good. We may be... Oh yeah, well that... We shouldn't be that worried, like... Once you reach, like, level... 60 like levels don't matter really. Okay, yeah, Sylveon, which Seika Modder was faster than. Okay, maybe not one that's level 70, but. <sighs> okay, Sylveon. The Trans Flag Incarnate um, is no match against my Mother Bug! <laughs> Okay, that did decently, and Moonblast will not do enough. And I'm sweating like a disgusting amount. I'm s <laughs> yeah. I also miss like Mega Evolutions. Like C moves were not were fine, but not that interesting. And like I don't know. Uh, what what are they called? Giga Gigantamax, Gigantamax, Dynamax, uh, were just like, I don't know, I feel like it's not really something that should be in battle, it should just purely be a, like, I don't know, a wild Pokemon thing, because it is inherently just a boss battle, and I don't think it makes, oh shit, a bunch of reindeer. Eh, they're just walking down the road, whatever. Um, am I dead? Yes, girl! Yes! Uh, special defense. I think I might take it out. Let's go. But also, if I switch in Arcalise again, she'll uh, set off Drought again. Psych up? Uh, why did you make yourself weaker, you idiot? You absolute dum dum! Um, uh, <laughs> why are you killing the transfer? Like, transfer? But yeah, Aggie and the Max were, or whatever, were just weird to me. Not that I actually played those games, but yeah, same. I did also not play those games. Um, but I am thinking about getting, um, emulation. Uh, just, you know, see what they're like. So what can I do to be, oh yeah, Cementite, uh, Easy. Just send out Whimsicott. Oh yeah, it won't show up because of the frickin' <laughs> uh, <laughs> Twitch saw the word trans and was like, no, this is, uh, <laughs> this must be offensive. I'm like, no, it isn't. I permit this message. It's a funny joke between me and my favorite twat. 
follower. No. Favorite Twitch follower. Okay, JPEG Moon, whatever. I'm fine. I can take this. Uh, okay, energy ball. Energy ball, energy ball. Let's go. Okay, down it goes. Uh, got some more EXP. Oh, that was easy. Was unapproved? Oh yeah, probably from Twitch. I was like, but I hit. It was okay, but no. Goodness, you're really quite strong. Yeah, and you're dumb as shit. <laughs> we tried our hardest in this battle, and that's what counts. Oh yeah, I forgot what voice I gave her. What a match! A thrilling display from trainers and Pokemon alike. Okay, I'm taking off my... Oh, hi. I was about to say Janine, but that's like her model name, not... Oh my god, Sir Goldcorn! Again! <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, another battle. Hmm. Wait, were our Pokemon healed? Please tell me they were. Let's check. They were! Oh, perfect! Now we can use freaking. Well, we fought Goldcorn like five minutes ago, so like, I think we know what he'll have. Okay. 62, 63, and 64! Will you select rare? Why it wasn't. Oh, it's probably 65, whatever. Huh. Are we ready for the next round? Yes. Okay, Goldcorn had a bunch of shit. Probably will have his Arbok this time. Folks, we're back with round two. Both of these trainers took home a win in the previous round. Their strength is no joke. I can tell that they both are itching for another fight. Well, let's not delay. On with the match. I do say, are we perchance... Have we perchance met before? I'm certain we have. You do leave quite an impression indeed. However, allow me to re reintroduce myself. I am Sir Goldcorn. I represent a refined style of battle, a tradition which is sadly going away with it seems. But I shall prove that refinement still has a place in the arena. Please allow us to have a clean civil match. Okay, kind. <laughs> Absolute old geezer ass. <laughs> Stuffy old man ass. <laughs> okay, yeah. Battle, start, whatever. Okay, he starts out with his Tans carry yet again. Come on, Gargriff. And how did he level up so much? Like, sure, he probably can't afford to buy rare candies. Crunch. Okay, girl. Whatever you say. If that makes you feel any better. Okay, heal. And then switch to our baby girl, Whimsicott. Who will uh, JPEG them to death. It's like Crunch won't do that much. I know. See, it did fine. Uh, I have a feeling it'll probably use like a scary move, so let's... And it's faster? Oh yeah, Sudden Strike is a priority move. It's like, I'm pretty sure it's just Sucker Punch without the um, caveat. They're probably a bit weaker. Okay, that did a decent amount, but we're faster still. Unless it uses Sudden Strike, which whatever. Okay, what Pokemon will I send out now? Okay, first Pokemon down. Good, 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 good. Like, I actually can't believe this is the Elite Four. Splendifowl, which I had a problem with last time, but I think the Glamanon can take it down. <laughs> All hail baby girl, Whimsicott, the devourer of souls. Maybe not the devourer of souls, but maybe the... No, he uses Leech Seed. I would say that it's like stealing someone's soul. Uh, go Ice Beam. Yeah, yeah, Hurricane. Launch me into the sky. Look 
Okay, that did actually a decent amount. But I think this might kill you. She really is, and they gave her a mega evolution in this game. And the fact that I'm not using it is, like, I don't know, blasphemy? Almost literally blasphemy, because the 8th gym leader is a pair of avatars for the gods in the universe, and one of them has a Whimsicott as her ace. Okay, Ampharos. Ugh. Everyone has a fucking Ampharos. <laughs> yeah, it looks really funny when they just put, like, <laughs> images in there, which, which is why I call Moonblast JPEG, because it's like a JPEG move. Yeah, she has a Mega, it's so cool. I... Oh yeah, we were supposed to look at the Pokedex! Uh, what was it? It was, um, Ampharo, so... Arcalise, my baby girl. Come on! This is his third Pokemon, right? Yeah, this is like his half his team. Come on out, Mega Stone. It sometimes it takes a while for it to come, and it's just like it's really distracting. Okay, Drought, whatever. Okay, Earthquake. This will not kill. It has never killed in one hit, even with a Mega. I think. Yeah. Single beam, whatever. As long as it doesn't confuse me. Good. Nice! Nice cock! God, flame impact. And I get static. Great! Great, great, great! Uh, um, Hero Loon, yeah, I can send in... Drama-sama, the freaking cool bitch. Make sure Hero Loon is probably faster. And the ground type helps against the stealth rocks, but Psychic will take you down. Fucking static. Yeah, I started thinking about a part in... What was it? Uh, an Atama Hero video where she reviewed Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green and how it really isn't the same as playing the original Red and Blue because they added. because status effects are a lot more prominent. Like every electric type has static and every poison type has a uh, poison point or something. And I was just like, oh yeah, that was like a really fucking annoying thing about those games. Okay, taking a lot of hits here. Okay, but what's this next Pokemon? What could he possibly have? A Whimsicott! Aww! Too bad Whimsicott is four times weak to poison. That, that sure is like a shame. Like an awful thing. Sincerely. Oh my god, please tell me he won't Mega Evolve it. Please tell me I'm fast. Oh, oh god, oh, oh, thank god, thank god! We could have died there. <laughs> and down it goes! Yes! To f and in the beginning, I was like so unsure like how my team would look. Ooh, a body yet. Perfect. Uh, well, say hello to my Whimsicott, who's... Five times better than yours, even though she's under leveled. But yeah, um, I was so unsure. I was like, oh my god, is my team good enough? Because this game is hard. <laughs> and like, b besides the under leveling, we're like very balanced, even with like no flying type, no uh, immediate like poison, like no no one to immediately take out po uh, fairy types, like. We managed to patch those, like, holes. Okay. Oh my god, what's it? I say! Dumbass, like, absolute little bitch ass. <laughs> Goodness, that was quite a thorough route. I may require some tea and biscuits after this match. 
if you'd like, uh, you would be welcome to join me. I just, like, insulted you, like, 5,000 times. A thrilling display from... A thrilling display from trainer and Pokemon alike. Oh yeah, he says the same thing as, like, earlier. Up next, round three. Fephus versus Cali. Oh, that's the water-type trainers, right? Okay, yeah, but let's check the Pokedex. Now that's a Pokemon. <laughs> now that we have the time. Oh yeah, we failed to catch the Xenomorph ones. But we did catch Hazma! And the Cockroach we forgot. Here are the Unicorns. Uh... Oh yeah, we did see the rabbit before. Oh, here it is. The Devil. Where you can catch it, because I won one. Oh, you can catch it in the Victory Road. Well, that makes sense. The... Now that's your rain. Okay, well let's look at... Where's Whimsicott? The most intense, uh, <laughs> going through the Pokedex music. Yeah, like, totally. My team is so well optimized for... And it's probably how I beat, like, the previous gyms. Well, the 8th gym leaders I did... Sure, I was underleveled a bit, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, okay, where is... Uh... Oh yeah, uh, Horsla got an evolution that isn't a ghost type. Okay, here's Whimsicott. Uh, forms. Wait, isn't there one for... Yeah, there it is! The Mega! I forgot how she looked. It's not super creative, but what else can you do with, like, a ball of cotton? <laughs> Though I wonder if she's a fairy type when she's Mega Evolved. Maybe she is. Doesn't say so. Oh yeah, Whimsicott's already a fairy type. I'm s <laughs> I'm covering my eyes right now. Okay, but Callie is probably the Surfer Girl, so she has Water types, and I don't think Gargriff is gonna do well against that at all. Okay. You do? I I think it's fine. Uh, please proceed into the air arena. My idea of a Mega Whimsicott would be like, uh, just make her big, just make her huge, make her fluffier. And sure, they could have made it pink and added flowers, but like, make it big, because it looks smaller than a normal one. Back three with the quarterfinals, with the 32 trainers that entered the arena today, only eight remain. These are among the toughest of Tandor, the paragons of our region. I can tell the crowd is loving this. It only gets more intense from here on out. Here on out, folks. What could be in store for us this round? Uh, a water trainer. Hi there, Bethis. I wanted to thank you for stopping the power plant attacks. You really did a good thing for Beale Beach City and for all of Tandor. Ever since I heard about that, I've been itching for a rematch. This time, my team and I are going all out. Hope you'll go all out, too. Okay, yeah, same rules. Whatever, whatever. Let me be her! I've watched way too much Bay watching and I want to reference it somehow. Also, I do not want to... Sorry. <laughs> there was like an outline of a banner that I had and I was like, huh, I don't want to see that. Oh yeah, you still have your surfboard with you? Okay, girl. Okay, she starts up with a reel. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna use... Um... Nah, I'm gonna use uh, Energy Ball. There's Aqua Jet. Honey, no, how you even got this far? I am baffled. What? That didn't do as much as it should have. Well, go go leech seed. Maybe we'll stall it out. Waterfall. Girl, don't you have ice fang? Ice anything? Fangy thing? Okay. Uh, and we'll heal. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, well, in the meantime, let's go con guard, so we'll stay safe. Because right now, the only Pokemon she'll have that we can't, like, get, uh, get an upper hand against is probably, like, Daikatuna. 
Well, if the energy ball didn't do that much, let's try JPEG. Because Tuvaril is also a dark type. Okay, that did fine. And thank god we don't have to worry about, like... Okay, it does have an Ice Fang, so it's just... She's just stupid. Didn't I lose against you last time? I recall doing that. I remember having such a problem against your top jaw. Okay, and since we have even more PP on Moonblast, let's go. Oh, you haven't seen any special defense on a Pokemon like freaking Glavinog and uh, Brainor. Okay, what other Pokemon does he have? Brainor. Uh, it's got so... No, let's see. And we have Leech Seed. Like, sure, it's gonna use Rest and annoy us like that, but at least Leech Seed will... Okay, yeah, Ice Beam, that's a problem. That's a big problem. A huge problem, maybe. Let's say, hypothetically, that I get hit with Ice Beam and Whimsicott fucking dies! <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not playing the Nuzlocke version. Uh, um, Drama Sama? Use your ghost type moves, maybe? Wait, Brainor has a lot of. a lot of HP. Pain Split will even things out. It never does. It never evens out enough. Oh, but we did get a decent amount of, like, defense there. Damn! And Drama Sama's a freaking glass cannon. Now she'll get some HP back. Oh, I'm so happy to have her. I'm so glad. Oh, this is so intense. Let's go Shadow Ball. I was thinking, what should I play after this? And then I remembered, oh yeah, I have Pokemon uh, XD Galo Darkness and Colosseum. And I've never played those before. And I don't think it's going to be like normal Pokemon games where it's just really like important to play them by yourself to get your own like adventure and stuff like those games are very battle oriented and probably aren't that fun to just sit by yourself so it's probably gonna stream those after this um, okay 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 let's go come on no I like the frozen status condition but not when it <laughs> when it hits me well, Drama Sama put up a good fight. Uh, and that brain or is posing a real threat. Uh, let's try Gargriff. Like, if anything. Uh, since it also has Shadow Ball. Come on. They, them, supremacy. Let's go. <laughs> yes! We lower the special defense, even though that doesn't matter. Come on. I trained you in special defense. You can do this. Gargrith, come on. I believe in you. Mm. Apparently not hard enough. <laughs> and that leftover is just real annoying. Wait, Seikamater is like, has an electric type move, so like, we're good. Um. But yeah, it really sucks not having uh, freaking Whimsicott because with only Seika Modder, we're dead. Because like Glavinug is not effective against water types. Seika Modder is the only one we have. Arcalise is two times weak to water. We lost half our team. A Corsary. Oh, perfect. Wait, we're lucky. And just to, like, give us a chance, let's Mega Evolve and use <laughs> Earthquake. Like, I can't believe we're actually gonna lose to her. And she started out so badly. Okay. Oh god. I'm sweating bullets over here. Okay, good. Trout to keep us safe. And Earthquake to... well, it won't hit KO because Corsa Reef is like a defense-oriented Pokemon. 
Ah, uh, that did well. And it doesn't have sturdy, which is interesting. Come on, Archelise. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Girl boss? No. Okay. Uh, well, it's not in the cards this time. Seika Mater is probably faster, so let's go for a simple poison jab. Like, just to use anything. I think it's better than nothing. Okay, 3,000. Oh god. A Co-Cancer? Perfect. Oh, I forgot she had a co -Garan. Well, look good we have an Ice-type on hand. And we caught it outside Beale Beach. This is so... I want to say poetic, but no, no, it's like so... Beautiful. Amazing. But does it have enough defense? It does, which... But Woodhammer will take it out. Both Flavanog and Co-Cancer. I'm so sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. Well, it's all on the Seika Mater now. <laughs> well, I, well, because I got so cocky. <laughs> Let's hope the drop sticks all sticks around for longer. Escartris! Fuck! That's a ground type! Po poison jab? Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose to the stinkiest trainer in here. That did nothing. Oh yeah, it's a fucking wall. Of course it did nothing, you idiot. And it has leftovers. Um. Damn, I got nothing against this. And I can't use items. Damn it! Uh, Pokemon. Uh, we're dead. We're so dead. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Wait, resist. Oh yeah, ground types are resistant? Are they? I don't remember that. Ah, oh, damn it. I am so fucked, I know. <gasps> yeah. <sighs> what happens now? Do we have to redo the battle? Yeah, Discord emoticons suck. It was like, oh yeah, it's a little robot? Who cares? <laughs> Wait, I have to redo all of them, right? Yeah. I think I have to. Well, I'm gonna keep going until I win. Beyond this point, it's a Tanner Championship Arena. Once you begin, you must continue until you either win or defeat it. Also, no items. Yeah, 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 I know. Are you sure you want to enter? Yes. Well, good luck. Up next, round one. Angelica, okay. So they're just gonna pretend nothing happened. Oh, look, the snowman is here. Well, since it's her, we'll start off with the uh, Seika Mater because of poison. No, she started off with uh, the freaking bug. <sighs> well, now at least we know what they will do. Are you ready to? Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you're gonna have to watch me go through all of this, but we'll get there eventually. Man, look at all those people. All of them will have to watch me try and fail. Well, at least we're getting levels with this. Like, once uh, Gargriff levels up, like, it'll get freaking power gem. And that will do so much more than Voxide. He's trying to scale in battle. Let's turn it. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, girl. Well, look really strong. Um, I'm Angelica. I train fairy types. We're cute, but I'm letting go Yeah, girl, you said this earlier. It's not like the battle against Curie where it, like, pretends nothing happened. <laughs> G 
Yeah, it really is hard to come by, but once you get to the ninjas in Tsukinami Village before the 8th gym, you have a decent set of, like, they have a, each ninja has a full team focused on one stat, and all of them is this, are the same Pokemon. Though sadly, they're very tricky Pokemon, like, uh, the HP one has Dune Seraph. Uh, <laughs> she got early onset dementia. You'd think Sir Goldcorn, the old man, would have that, but no. It's, it's everyone. Everyone's like, oh, what happened? Who are you? <laughs> okay, still fuck. And now that we're much stronger, we're ready to take you down, girl. You in danger, girl. Uh, ancient power. And maybe we'll get a stat boost. And just, <laughs> what if? <laughs> what if maybe we get a stat bo boof, boost? But yeah, the HP one got Dune Seraph, which is already a very strong Pokemon, but easy to deal with if you have an Ice type. The attack one has Bariat, also easy to take down if you have a, a Fairy type. Um, the defense one is Gargriff, so like that's annoying, but if you got a Grass type, sure. Uh, and then the special attack one is Krillvolver, which is awful to face against because it's a fire water type, so it has a tricky typing. It is really strong, so like you better have like something special defensive against it that is effective. Okay, we know Tiger. Let's switch to Drama Sama. Uh, the special defense one is Elotruxo. Water electric, all, and special defense is also tricky to face against. And the speed one is Infligida, which is honestly the one you can take down over and over again. It's a pure fire type, it's a glass cannon, it's nothing interesting. <laughs> but yeah, that's, it's kind of a hassle of a side quest, but it's worth it. Okay. Sure, I lost some HP, but it's worth it. E, don't JPEG me. Don't JPEG me. Sorry, just... <laughs> My sticky note was in the way, and I hate how... I need this. Well, no, the game will pause either way, but... Okay, we know Tiger down. We're getting there. Mm hmm. But yeah, Nuduk has sent in Alpico, which Hercules is equipped to handle. But yeah, we're like speeding through this. I wish there was a speed up button, because then I would definitely use it. Uh. Uh, there we go, and there we go. Maybe this time it will kill it instantly. Like last time it didn't. Okay, Mega Evolve into Mega Arcalis. There's Drought. They don't have as much HP, and we have a Mega Evolve Flamethrower. Je beg nous pegon vous pegue il peg... pegzon. I hate that. I hate that so much. Wait, you forgot to peg and... Um... On peg. <laughs> okay, Sylveon. Okay, I am being transphobic again. Uh, <laughs> what was I using? Sekamata. We need a French conjugation of literally everything. Yeah, French conjugation of Sekamata. Wait, it actually worked! It's an ER verb! <laughs> Sekamata, <laughs> Sekamata. Sekama, um, on sekamat, uh, nous sekamaton, <laughs> vous sekamate, uh, il sekamaton. Okay, poison jab. Take down the little fairy. <laughs> you deliberately excluded the il, el, on, uh, and tu. Well, it's. Very simple. Two is always like yes or ends with an S, and like il, el is always like ends with an E or whatever. I don't know, I haven't 
taking French in like, what is it now? Like four years now? Yeah. And I stopped for a good reason. I hate it. My French teacher, she was like so annoying. Okay, 64, good. Aromatisse, whatever, we got this. This is our final Pokemon, right? No, she has like one more, probably. Yeah, she has one more. Oh, I envy you for being absent. I wish I could have been absent. Though there were times where we, like, kinda knew how to get around having French class. One time, our French teacher was had, like, sick leave, and when she came back, we were like, uh, we don't want to have this, we don't want to sit through an entire, like, French class. Hey, uh, how, how did you get sick? When, why did you take some time off? And she was, she went on this, she, how long were classes? Yeah, they were 70 minutes long, each and every class we had. And she sat through the whole thing, just talking about, like, her whole life, how she... <laughs> what happened, how she wrote her will because she thought she was gonna die, and how she, uh, how she used Islam, uh, in her favor sometimes with her husband. Sometimes she's just like, oh no, I don't want to spend money on this thing. Like, mm, husband, you're supposed to provide for me, aren't you? <laughs> Mine was great, completely bonkers, batshit insane man from Armenia, but we loved him. Man. Sometimes there are good French teachers. Most of the times, it's not a substitute. But we had one substitute teacher, and she was like Mauritian. And she was just so chill. She was so understanding. And I helped her with her. She was a teacher student, so like I helped her with her like thesis thing in an interview. <laughs> Which she committed to speaking about his life in the USSR and France and Armenia. I'm very stories about his life. That is the great thing about immigrant teachers, that they will talk about that stuff, like, forever. Well, not always. Uh, pretty much all our teachers were immigrants. Our English teacher was American. And he was, I don't know, he just didn't talk very much. He was very chill, but he just never talked about that very much. Oh my god, slay Islamic girl boss. Yes! The husband's money is also the wife's, but the wife's is her own. Oh, so that's the thing, like, because, I don't know, she talked about it like, uh, well, you know, 21st century, you know, each, everyone gets to have their own thing, but she would, I don't know, talked about her money like, I don't know, like, they both had their own money, but she, <laughs> from time to time, was just like, mm, I don't want to pay for this, <laughs> husband. Wow, you're really quite strong. But yeah, she was also, and not that like she was like very much just like, I don't know, submissive housewife or anything. No, she was like girl boss working woman to the bone. She told me once that she only sleeps like four hours a night. And she was like everywhere having like 15 different like math classes across like the whole city. Because our school was small and yeah. But yeah, she was insane. <laughs> But one time I think we also made her cry because we all were like, oh no, we didn't do our homework. And she was like, um, uh, okay, I have to go and make a call in my office. And she just kind of looked so hurt. Wait, I want to change Pokemon. The next one is, uh, Sir Goldcorn. So that means Lunsicott is out. Because it doesn't matter if Garbrick puts superhuman French teacher. Yeah, like, she was, and she was not only our French teacher, she was also, like, uh, culture studies. And she was just really annoying the, in that. She was just annoying in general. She was a character. She was like, if you met her, you would never meet like any girl like her. <laughs> like one time in our culture studies, we were like, and the thing is, okay, our class was kind of annoying, but one time we just did not comment on something. She made us watch a movie and none of us had like anything to say about it. We were like, yeah, it's this thing. And she was like, <laughs> the, uh, like, the class after that, she was like, um, uh, she was like, I'm gonna step 
this autumn I'm gonna step down as your French teacher because I don't feel like I can like make a like start a conversation in this class I can't like make you guys talk like I'm not connecting to you and it, I've only like not taught one class before only once and it was so funny because like in August when we all came back from summer vacation she was still there <laughs> we were like okay girls so you were you just lied and <laughs> you tried to like guilt trip us or something <laughs> but yeah it was and that was not a lot I can talk about her for days but we have to talk about how his tans cure really is not like standing a single channel against my whimsicott Ugh. <laughs> man suspicion emojis <laughs> what are you looking at uh Okay, but Tans here down. Oh no, a crit. Whatever. That won't do shit. Okay, but now that we know she'll start out with the freaking what's its face? Uh, uh Why did I forget its name? Uh Tom Jaw and Tuberiel. Okay, Splendid Fowl. Uh Gargrave is perfect for that. No! Tansker has not been relegated to obscurity. It's a cute little doggo, and I hate dogs, but I love Tansker. Okay, Splendifowl, you are nothing. You are a little bitch. Take this ancient power. Okay, that will hurt. I forget it has flash cannon. But yeah, it learns flash and stuff too. What, what does this bird have to do with light? I don't know. But let's hope for the best. Maybe I can beat it. Let's go. Wait, he withdrew? To what? Ah, hero loon. Nah, that'll do it. Yeah, but the, here's the thing. I'm gonna switch to Ramasama. Ramasama, come on out. First, I need to bring back my boy. Uh, no, wait, no. Let's go. Splendifal went sicko. A bit. I'm always like, I, I've seen it use flash cannon like 15 different times, and every single time I'm like, whoa, it used flash cannon. I don't remember it doing that. Like, yeah, a couple of more bone rushes, whatever. Yeah, yeah, keep going, keep going. I dare you. Call yourself a hero, but I, I don't think so. Uh, take this psychic. Oh god, we're encroaching on three hours. Oh my god, it's almost Friday. E, almost midsummer. I actually don't know what Sycamore means to be honest. I just absorbed it from American internet. Same. I hear Sycamore. I don't say it, but I I know what the I know about the word. I just never use it because I'm like, well, what is it actually? Oh, the Whimsicott! <laughs> Ooh, gonna take it out so fast! Also, I love how the background doesn't have any people in, like, the... in the rafters. No, not the rafters, it's called, um, the bleachers. In the audience. Oh god, help! <laughs> Whimsicott went sicko mode. Damn it! Of course I had to be confused. Come on, girl. Come on. Yes! What was that evil cackle? Uh, I don't know. I just felt evil for using a poison jab on a Whimsicott. So that, was that his last one, or does he have one more? Oh yeah, he has a, the Splendid Fowl. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it in. Even Splendifal, who is good against Seika Mater, doesn't stand a chance against Thunderbolt. Oh, of course, they all have to know Hurricane. Hit me like a hurricane. <laughs> no, it's rock me like a hurricane. I sang Heat Wave instead of Hurricane. Bruh. 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 
Okay, well, um, Glavinug? Now I'm mean. Now I'm evil. Come on! Well, at least Glavinug is like special defense. You should have seen my previous streams when I faced a bunch of Glavinug. Each and every one of them only knew like Ice Beam, Tackle, Protect, and like Defense Curl. Like two of them knew that. And they were against like late stage, like high level trainers. And I was like, Bruh, you have a strong water type and you don't use it for anything. What the fuck? Ooh, Achilles, let's go. Okay, his Ampharos that everyone has. Wait, he has like one more Pokemon, right? I'm making the no bitches face. Okay, come on out. I don't know what I put for the Z button, but um... I'm using my mouse instead, which has worked out for me pretty nicely, I, I might say, I might add. Okay, sunlight turn harsh, earthquake. Okay, this will not take it out, it has never taken it out. Yeah. Single beam, fine, as long as I don't get confused. Nice, okay, and now for a flame impact. Oh god. <sighs> this happened last time, didn't it? In it. Okay. And now for the Bariat, yeah. What's oh yeah, because we ended it on our superior Whimsicott. Coming out, Fluffy Queen, Girl Boss, hashtag Charlie XCX Slay, BB Rexa. Carly Ray Jepsen. I'm trying to name gay things, but I don't know. <laughs> Me. Uh, yes. <gasps> and she's level 64, like a real queen. I say. We got more money. Good. Oh yeah, I still have the. Uh, <laughs> Sir Golcorn, you just got slayed. Oh yeah, I need to change um, Whimsicott's item because she holds the amulet coin. Varen? Wasn't that the freaking... Mm. Wasn't that the, the, the dragon type gym leader? <laughs> Wait, uh, what can I give her? What will she benefit from? Uh, well, no, none of those stones, honestly. I guess not. No, 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 no. Eh. Like, the Miracle Seed is better than nothing. What can Varen have? Uh, well, to be safe, let's send in Gargriff. And I was so prepared to take down Kali again, but apparently it is random. Well, aside from losing Goldcorn. Yep, it's the dragon guy. His ace is an Ampharos, so we have to face another Ampharos. Of the 32 trainers that entered the arena today, only 8 remain. These are among the toughest of Tandor, the paragons of our region. Uh, I can't tell, the crowd is loving this, only it gets... I can't tell, wow. <laughs> Sir, you are the MC, you should... It is not often that we come down from the peak of Mount Lampenite, but this region deserves a reminder of the power of dragons. You have proved yourself in the five trials. Have you what it takes to defeat us at our full strength? <laughs> Hear our battle cry. Dude, it just kind of sounded like you took a dump. <laughs> Like, the change in altitude must not have been good for you. And I know you had to go down that mountain, cross the ocean, and face me again. No mass looking motherfucker. Okay, Baron. Since in Dune Seraph, good, we have Gargriff out in front. 
and Southrock never hurt anybody. Well, me at least. Yeah, yeah, Air Slash, I've been through this already. I used Scar Grip against the Doom Seraphs in the, uh, that the ninjas had. Sure, the problem is that they are really... Yeah, Dunsparks has freaking unapologetic, very viking wizard. I wish he had magic, he does not. All he has is Mega Evolution. But yeah, Doom Seraph has Serene Grace, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> Pog! We got stat boost! But yeah, um... Yeah, it has Serene Grace, so it'll be more likely to hit with Air Slash. But we got Rebuild! And Restored with Leftovers. We're doing so great. Wait, he retrieved it? What? For an Alpico? Ma'am. You shouldn't have done that. That is a dumb idea. Go Ancient Power. <laughs> Whatever. Like, sure, it's a special attacker, but I'm stronger than you. Uh, 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 my god! We're gonna sweep the hell out of his team. I am also not used to doing Seraph, but I'm pretty sure it's it's good. It's like a Andrin. Uh, it's just like a high special attack, high HP. Like it's basically a the. Uh, it is just like I'm pretty sure it is just a like pseudo legendary in this game. Okay, um, I don't care about snow warning, so let's go ancient power again. Oh yeah, it's a ground type. I'm stupid. I did decent. <laughs> that is so mean. <laughs> I'm gonna port him for hate crimes. This bitch really had to go and do that, huh? Really had to go and do that, you bitch. <laughs> I was right for calling you a no mass looking motherfucker. Okay, well, I'm not holding back. And that's something I didn't know, is that fire is not, like, uh, half as effective against ground. Literally homophobic. Yes! That's what I'm saying! Slay Arch- Charlie XX, Carly Rae Jepsen, BB Rexa, Pride Month. <laughs> okay. I should have put the Pride Month like tag on my stream, but <laughs> who wants to tune into a fucking hate crime? Okay, Doom Seraph. Who cares? I got Glavenug. Might actually be faster now that I leveled him up even more. Ooh, how does it feel to get stealth rocked? You absolute buffoon. Yeah, I also forget that it's Prime Month. I see like a bunch of Pride like logos and stuff, and I'm like, mm, nothing special about this month at all. Though I'm pretty sure most like Pride festivals and stuff are like later in the summer here. Oh, come on, let me use Ice Beam. Okay, that will hurt. This is gonna hurt, this is gonna hurt! We survived? Damn. Glavinog, literally, like, he is the token man on my team. I only have females and Gargriff, but... Uh, a Frost Draw. Oh, you're about to see the coolest shit in the world. Oh, and you no longer have pride. It's because of the pandemic or because of, well, lack of interest. Like, did the local group disband because of, I don't know, things? Like, I hope it's not for a bad reason. Like, look at it! Look at it! Frostra is here to save pride. <laughs> That's how he won't live that long. 
Sorry, girl. I'm so sorry. You're so cool. I love and adore you. I think he had a first solo on his team. Uh, so that's why he still has it. Okay, so I'm like faded, but I already had Drought. Fap Ninja. Fap Ninja. Fap Ninja. Something tells me I'm gonna need a fairy type for this. It really is so pretty and so cool and so awesome, and I'm so mad I didn't train one. Oh yeah, it's the Dragon Ice type. I am. Whimsicott is dead. Uh. Moonblast. JPEG! JPEG! Come on. Though I really like the, uh, it's a crit, but it's not enough. I really like the unconventional, uh, I don't know, this, the, the fact that this is a dragon type is really interesting to me. Oh, that's interesting that it just kind of disbanded. And especially in, like, a town that is, like, so big. Because not every place that has a pride parade, like, my hometown has, like, a population of, like, 3,000, and I don't think they've ever held a pride parade or, like, event or anything like that. Okay, well, I think Arglis can take on Fat Ninja. Like, really, I would have never looked at this and go, that's a dragon, but knowing it is, I'm like, yeah, of course a dragon could be that. Okay, but is does he still have the Ampharos, or was this everything he had? Yeah, his final Ampharos. His baby mama. Okay, let's go Earthquake. Behold the power of Mega Evolution! Okay. We've seen Mega Ampharos in like other games, so I'm not very impressed, to be honest. Yeah, it does have some dragon-like qualities, like just being big, and I think horns in general just makes things a dragon. Like, even if you are like, look at like King Draw and go, yeah, that's not a dragon. Or look at Seed Ram and go, yeah, that's not a dragon, and it, it isn't, but if it evolves into one, uh, but just, I don't know, the adding of horns really just like, oh yeah, that's a dragon. <laughs> oh my god, we did it. We got, we beat round four. Okay. Hmm, impressive. I see you command your Pokemon with great intelligence and respect. A lesser trainer could not have triumphed against us. I must bow to your superiority. Can't believe the water gym leader beat me, but we beat the dragon gym leader. Uh, I don't know, I think, uh, I'm pretty sure they described it. I don't know, I think it's just, I don't know, kind of like a east versus west look of dragons. Because in the, in like, in Asia, they generally see dragons as like, you know, serpents with uh power and orbs and maybe fine hair and um, which Ampharos kind of fits into once you add the hair a thrilling display of trainers and pokemon alike okay but who's next up next round four Bepis versus Cali. no <laughs> no <laughs> okay how are we gonna beat this guy? Um, okay, we'll go with Seika Mater, who is probably better at taking down... Wait, no. Actually, she did take down Tuvaril. She did great against Tuvaril. It's just that we were cocky against Brainor, which we should have sent Seika Mater into. Are ready for the next round? Ready as I, I'll ever be. Oh my god, thank you for the support! Come on. We can't let this 
Uh, I was about to say, the F hag beat us. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh. Oh, we're beating the champion after this? Oh god. Help! Hi there, Pippis. I wanted to thank you for stopping the power plane attacks. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm so gonna take you on. Yeah. Go all out. Sure. No items will be used. Yeah. Totally get it. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Like, I'm ending the stream if I lose this. <laughs> oh, it's Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Midsummer. Happy New Day. And for the people who aren't watching live, go fuck yourself. <laughs> okay. Um. Moonblast. Knowing how stupid she is with Tuba Reel, we're going all out with Moonblast. We're stronger now. And that did jack shit. Great. Uh, Leech Seed. Wait, she withdrew? Uh oh. Brainor, come on. Don't miss with this. Yes! Yes! Okay, now we're switching out. I get all of my health back. Yes! Yes! Uh, hmm, Seika Mater. We're neutral with ice, and I think, uh, what Pokemon did she send out that we were, like, really just not doing well against? Oh yeah, the Cast Snail. We should watch out for that. Okay, we get health back, good. And we're gonna use uh, attack order because Bug is strong against Psychic, and it, since it's a special defender, I think special uh, physical attack will do a lot more than Thunderbolt ever will. And with the Expert Bell, I think our moves will deal more damage. Okay, one more attack. Okay. Reaving in, reaving out. We still have our whole team left. So whatever she throws at us will not be enough to beat us. We're on our three. Wait, she switched again? To two burial. Okay, I can handle that. Let's see how much attack order does. Decent dish amount. Sure, the a freaking the leech seed is gone, but that's sad. And he flinched us. Okay, well, let's try again. Just keep trying. <sighs> okay, good. Okay, what is he? What is she gonna send in next? The course would be okay. Good. That's why we have Whimsicott! We're so ready for this! Corsa Reef did not change typing. It's still a rock water because it's coral. I was thinking about playing Crystal, like regular, like normal Crystal, and then just... Huh? Does it have Sturdy? Oh, it has Focus Sash. Yeah, power gem, whatever. Uh, and just use a Corsola, even though it's one of the worst Pokemon in that game. What? Huh? She switched again? The Brain Ore? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm faster, so I should take it out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything built up to this. And we, this isn't even the champion battle, this is just our revenge. Our petty revenge. <laughs> she has four Pokemon left, and I'm faster. Uh, she has that cast name left, which is also going to be a problem. Because it's a wall. Okay, Cocancer. 
nothing against Blavinug. Wait, she has Cocancer, Cast Snail. I didn't think she... Long live girl boss once it got- Yes! Yes! Come on, let's go. Let's go, girls. I say yes, I have Glavinog out. <laughs> Force femming your Pokemon. <laughs> I just did so many arm motions. I am. Oh, you gave it a citrus berry, you loser. Oh, it has harvest. Okay. Maybe you're a bit smart. Maybe she has a brain under there. Maybe she's not just a Baywatch babe. My god, this is so satisfying. I am, like, coming so hard right now. <laughs> Free Supremacy. Yes! And if I remember correctly, in Pokemon Stadium, like, the first one, Freeze is broken. Like, if you have an Articuno with Ice Beam, get ready to just sweep, because nothing will get past that. Okay, Escartress. Castanea was the baby form. Okay, well, let's see how much one energy ball does. And we have Miracle Seed, so... Ave Maria! Oh, level 65! She's still sweeping the team! Okay, now this is gonna be problematic because Gargriff is not that fast, and Seika Mater doesn't have that much HP. Sure, I could have Leech Seeded it, but what's she gonna do, Mega Evolve it? <laughs> yeah, right. None of them have done that before, so I doubt she'll do it. Okay, maybe, maybe she did. Huh? He looks not as imposing, he looks smaller. Waterfall, whatever. I'm a physical defender, so... Come at me, bro! Can I get anyone hit? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. S Even though Stillfrog won't do shit. Earthquake? Okay, we should watch out for that. It looks like a baby. <laughs> I. It looks like... I'm- I'll, I'll see this thing in the arms of a guy on Tinder. He'll be like, huh, look what I caught, and it'll be like, hee hee, that's so cute and fun and quirky. Okay, well, let's go Leech Seed. So that we can just wait it out. Shall he use Ice? Okay, or not. Aw, I didn't want it to kill, but whatever. Okay, well, Glavinug is uh, perfect for this, because now we just use Calm Mind. Because we have Leftovers, we have Leech Seed, and we can just Calm Mind through this. Sure, it's not going to protect us anymore, but it's going to make our attack stronger. Because Leechy does what? Like 5% of max HP? Okay, well let's go Ice Beam and hope for a freeze. Oh god, this is... I was about to say this is so tense, but it's not. It's just the waiting game. And I always think about like, oh, maybe if I, what if, what do I do if I need to pee? I don't have like a banner or like a picture or something for like taking a break right now or anything like that. I should add one in case something comes up, <laughs> like midstream, which usually it doesn't. Okay. Where do we find so far? I'm surprised Glavinog isn't dead yet. Like, Leftovers plus Elite Seed. We're powering through.
I think this will do it, really. Like, But who will be the champion? Because it can't be Theo. Like, thematically, it should be Theo, because we always have, like, a rival battle in the end. Like, <coughs> they've built him up to be, like, be able to take on anyone now. Yeah, the music is nice. Not as nice as, like, other music, but it's better than, I don't know, previous battle music. Uh... Okay. <laughs> that was fun. Not for me, girl. I hate you. <laughs> wow, that battle was quite a workout, huh? I think it's safe to say that you are the stronger... Among us. Sus. Imposter. Vented. Among us. I'll be cheering on you from here on out. Man, I hope you slip and fall on your surfboard and drown. <laughs> uh, and the it's when it will be crowned champion of Tandor. <coughs> champion round, please make your preparations. Okay, well since we're going with Gargriff, <laughs> I can't believe it's before the battle, before the champion battle, and we're like sus among us, vented among us. Very well, please follow us into the Among Us arena. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I remember this, but it's so weird that he changed it. Okay, it is Theo. Well, good thing he's a pushover. Oh, all the gym leaders are here. Okay. Well, um, we're here. Yeah, I don't know why they have lava. How strong is this glass? Because I doubt it is. Here comes Theo. Or oh, I forgot his name of, like, episode two. Hiya, Bethis. You don't look too surprised to see me. I gotta admit, I fully expected to be facing you. You and me battling for the title of champion. In some ways, it feels like destiny. Don't you dare name awful Twitch streamers to me. <laughs> that was pretty cheesy, I'll admit. We've been through a lot together. We got our stars at the same time, we battle, but we also team up pretty often too. Remember Comet Cave? Yeah, when I carry the team. Seems <laughs> unsafe that all are building regulations in Tandor. Yeah, they let small children onto power plant sites. They let you face hor evil terrorists out to destroy the world. And they will i don't know i can't remember and they will just build buildings inside a volcano feels like long so long ago and here we are at the end bepis i gotta be honest i was always just jealous of you yeah, oh, wow i couldn't tell it's not like i'm the best beautiful the most amazing trainer in the game i thought people treated you different me because you were older. Well, of course they will. You're like seven. That was probably part of it, but you were always more mature too. Yeah, because I was older than you! <laughs> I think it was <laughs> what they saw in you. It took so long for me to learn how to control my emotions like you do. To not run away when I'm afraid. Not to take reckless risks just to prove I could. You inspired me. You jumped into a radioactive beam attack because someone attacked your father. I think I just saw a hair. What the? <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I copied everything you did. No, you didn't. Theo jealous inconceivable. <laughs> the jealous children in my video game? It's more likely than you think. Just like when you were kids. You were my idol, my rival. We fought so many times. You saved my life. Okay, so when's the love confession? Because of you, I'm one of the strongest trainers in Tandor. No, you're not! <laughs> but I'm finished with falling behind you from here on out. I'm going to set my own path. With all my all my strength and the trust in my Pokemon. If I can beat even you, Beppis. I would love to see you try. Watch him do it and me eating my words. 
No items may be used other than what the Pokémon already hold. The battle will continue until either side has no Pokémon left to can fight. Your trainers are... Whoa! Hey, I thought this arena was secure. I mean, I know it's literally on top of an active volcano, but... <laughs> we predicted it! You did it! You predicted it! Hi, hi, hi! Oh my god. Sorry for peeking the mic. What's going on? <coughs> oh god. First radioactive battles. Oh god, what the hell is that? That's the legend. That's a legendary Pokemon. Impossible. Can it be Actan? Something seems off about it. Bebis, doesn't it look like a nuclear Pokemon? <coughs> no safety regulations. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Warning. Bad levels rising. Warning. Who is sensing that? Wait, I still have the hazard suit? It was like big and unwieldy. It made me slow as fuck. How am I carrying it? Just gotta use your hazard dude and take these. Ah, oh, great. More nuclear balls. How can I use my Pokemon to get people in in this arena to safety? Catch that thing or calm it down or something. <laughs> oh yay! I'm in my hazard suit. Well, uh, it's a radioactive type, so I think we should go for. Well, none of my Pokemon own any status moves, which stinks. But Gargriff is pretty weak. Yeah, but like, I think the bicycle is like, you can fold it up or something. This has like a huge, like, bold head. Oh my god, it's gay as fuck. Look how it's like, uh, what's it called? It's like, doing the hand thing. Appeared. That's a little 80, great. Okay, well, Gargriff can handle this. No problem. Let's hope it's a physical attacker and won't kill me immediately. Uh, Shadow Ball. And <laughs> it missed when it's first attack. Limp Wrist, yeah, that's it. Gay ass. <laughs> Yasasaurus Rex over here, like, <laughs> missing with its attacks. And man, that Shadow Ball did a lot. I really have to sit and accept every single fun thing you're saying. It wouldn't let you say gay. <laughs> Honestly, that's more homophobic than you say in act something actually offensive. Okay. That key mash over there, that's the sound the Pokemon made before we faced it. Uh, we have 23 nuclear balls, let's use one. Also, didn't we get... Where- why didn't we get a Master Ball? Okay, that didn't know I think it's the ass part, maybe. Gay. Okay, no, it's the ass part. Or maybe- no, it's gay ass together, okay. Yes, I will allow every instance of someone saying gay ass. They're just talking about me, okay? Uh, oh my god, no, specifically the combination of gay and ass. It really is, because he said th th them separately in that sentence. <laughs> Stop saying ass! <laughs> okay, okay, please. Well, we either need to just calm it down or catch it. I think we can catch it later. Okay. Sure, Gargrip will not survive this burn, I think. Because we gotta fire, 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 and we're gonna let it burn, burn, burn. Uh... Remember, what was her name? Uh, Ellie Golding. Is she still relevant? Does she still make things? Okay, uh, all I know is that she made the Fifty Gra Shades of Grey song, which was kind of good, actually. And that song, and that was it. Sorry, I'm doing important Twitch experiments. I, I support you. Okay, Inferno Mist, good. Bag. It's supposed to be like four times as effective or something. Since like 2018. Yeah, what has she done since then? 
Okay, this is gonna hurt because we're four times as weak to nuclear. Ugh, yeah, that hurt. Ah, that. Burn, burn, burn. Uh, well, how about another nuclear ball? How about that? Really, girl? Really? Okay, good. Use iron defense. Not that it will matter. Even if it uses iron defense like four times and I use a very weak physical move, I know it will kill. Really, girl? I'm so, I'm so tempted to just kill you now. Once we get to 15 nuclear balls, I'm killing you. Because it's not worth it. <laughs> We're in the middle of a, a championship here. I'm supposed to beat Theo's ass. You're at, like, the lowest possible HP. Why can't I catch you? I'm using nuclear balls, which are supposed to be way more effective, but no, apparently not. Uh, rude. Uh, then down. A new kind of Pokeball that works especially well on nuclear types. Yeah, and this is a nuclear type, so it should work very well. Okay, I'm killing you. I, I don't have time for this. Come on, Seika Moder. Use Thunderbolt. Oh, okay, and then you had to kill me. Uh. But man, this music is good. You always kill legendaries? Oh god, I could never do that. I'm one of those people that plays a game and will literally collect and save anything. Like, when I play Skyrim and when you become a fan of a hole, they give you like a weapon with like a, me a mediocre weapon with a mediocre enchantment with a special name. I always keep the swords because... But what if I want to keep them? I'm never going to use them, but I want to keep them. <laughs> and with legendaries, I could never. But I, since they said you could kill it, I'm expecting... Well, I don't care. I'm, go I'm gonna pull a I don't care card right now and pretend I can catch it later and that this is not the end all be all. Bravo, Bebis. I saw the entire thing. You really are amazing. Man, everyone loves, like, kissing my ass. Theo and I evacuated the arena while you were battling with the legendary Pokemon. Still, this is concerning. Could have happened to me to act and leave the heart of the mountain. I believe I can offer an explanation. You see, my gym is atop Mount Lanthanite in East Tandor, inside of which dwells another legendary Pokemon, Actan's brother, Lanfan. Uh, I feel like these names are not very uh, creative. Yeah, why don't they need a hazmat suit? This is a core reactor core Pokemon. Does two meters really make much of a difference? Apparently, maybe the people who took the photo of the elephant's foot are still alive today. Who knows? Although both Pokemon have been asleep for centuries, Lanfan sometimes speaks to its chief, Acolytes, through its dreams. Perhaps I could communicate with Actan in the same manner. Will you allow me to try? No, I'm gonna hit you in the ass. Hit, hit you in your gnome ass. It's our best chance to discover what went wrong, but it's a nuclear Pokemon. It could be dangerous. Danger? I have no fear of danger. I am very into dragon. Sir, I'm pretty sure dragons are also susceptible to uranium. Lanfan sounds like a normal American name, like Nathan or something. Just a dude from Illinois or whatever. <laughs> right, right. Go ahead, then. Okay, now he's just speaking to it like directly he's like face to face he's smelling its feet he's just licking up every sweat drop off of those feet he's sucking every toe every ounce of uranium off of those bitches brother of darkness heed my call oh now it's back to normal oh it looks kind of cool blue 
The radiation faded from its body. Amazing. Legendary Pokemon are truly incredible. He wants the radiation. <laughs> the reason why he looks like a gnome is because he got radiation poisoning like 40 years ago. Oh mighty brother of darkness, why do you awake? You radiated foot fetish. What has disturbed your slumber? <laughs> My smelly feet. <laughs> I see. This is troubling news indeed. Acton says it was awakened by another legendary Pokemon which suddenly appeared in its lair. It began siphoning energy from the rare metals at the heart of Ma Mount Actonite. Acton attempted to defend its territory, but the other Pokemon was too powerful. The radioactive energy it was emitting made Acton lose control, since the other Pokemon commanded it to attack the arena. Seems to like, <laughs> like you've earned Acton's respect. He wants to join you. Um... Mm, sure. But who will we replace? Like... Um... Ooh, this is so hard. Because each and every one of them are so useful. I think Drama-sama has to go, sorry. I love you, girl, but you do not stand a chance against... Against, like, what's probably a steel dragon type. Brown metals, that's right. The core of Mount Actinite contains a massive amount of crude uranium. Of course, I should have known. Uranium Curie never left Tandor. They've been right here all this time. Oh no. Oh no, Fart Cloud. <laughs> you weak, wait, you weak, pathetic fools, you thought you had defeated us, but you mistaken only gave, only gave us more time, that was all we needed in order to get all that we desired, ultimate power, and now it's the hour of reckoning, can we stop this at once, whatever you're planning to do, please, if there's anything human left inside you, don't do this, Whatever it is you're planning, you could kill hundreds, if not thousands, of innocent people. What? Why? What is the meaning of this? Why? A weakling such as yourself could not begin to understand. This hunger, this eternal agony we have suffered. There's, there's but one way to end it. Ultimate power! Utter annihilation! This is what we crave. The total obliteration of all that stand in our way. You're a psychopath. Um. Hashtag dad cancelled. Always. <laughs> why do you hate. Why do you call people you don't like psychopaths? No, really, that's like a good question. What's the reason, dad, huh? I'm gonna cancel you on Twitter. <laughs> on Pokemon Twitter. And that. Thing you command isn't even a Pokemon. It's an abomination. Okay, now he's just awful. I hate my dad. <laughs> really, Kellen is an idiot. Pray words from a fool. They're, they're soon to be your last. Go ahead, Curie. Go ahead. You, you infuriating child. You pushed us back to the brink of despair, but our agonizing defeat led us to discover something new. As we fled, we found a book hidden among the roots of what you call civilization. But in its pages were the very key we needed. Our pathway to ascension. I told us of you told us of the uranium ores in this mountain and the guardian. Well, that guardian was no match for us. Now uranium is absorbing the last of the, of the ores energy. Soon the transformation will be complete. Uranus has achieved its true form. An angel of destruction. Hashtag problem like that is also a shake shaking my head. And he left us. He di doesn't care about his kids. He calls people he doesn't like psychopaths. And he thinks uh, animals that don't fit his worldview are abominations. Cancel him now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, tweet tweet with the hashtag hashtag Kellen is over party. <laughs> Warning, radiation spike imminent. Ev evacuate the area immediately. Pepis, your hazard suit. It's the only thing that can withstand the radiation produced by Urain. You're our only hope. Are you saying Pepis has to fight Kiri again? All on their own? You're crazy! You're saying you'll do it? Sheesh, Pepis. You make the rest of us look bad. Is, is this really the time for sass, Theo? Really? <laughs> Literally, the way to defend Kellen in this game is criminal. He would never. <laughs> uh, no, he's an awful. Ranger Shadows of Omiya was the first Pokemon game I ever played, actually. And you have taste. I, I don't remember when I got Ranger. I think it was on my birthday in like 2012, maybe. I remember I got it like I played it later, and I am surprised how much I liked it because when I first saw it, I was like, eh. I don't think I want to play that. I don't know, things that prominently show uh, Lucario and... Uh, yeah, Lucario in general. I just hate overrated Pokemon. If Fep is going to be a hero, then I want to help too. If we're exposed to radiation, we'll die within minutes. So will the rest of the people in this arena, unless we get them out of here. Theo, Varen, Professor, I need your help to get as many po people as you can to safety. You got it, Chief. I'm gonna do my part to protect people. Uh, flip flopper, Theo. I'll radio my rangers for back. We'll dispatch a hazard team as quickly as possible. But I'm afraid when they arrive, it might be too late. Pepis, you are the only trainer in this region who has defeated Curie before. Although this time it will be different. Urain has awakened an unman unimaginable power. So we don't have a choice. You are the only one who stands a chance. So please, I need you. Tandor needs you. Well, you can go and die. I'm gonna save the region. I have to go. If I stay in the long any longer, the region radiation will kill me. Blah blah blah, you always care about yourself and never about the people around you. I believe in you. Oh, now you love us? Okay, Dad. <laughs> Your friends and family have abandoned you. Don't you see? You're nothing but a tool to them, a pawn to them. They are more than happy to sacrifice. Well, she has a point. How disgusting. Humans are nothing but weak, selfish creatures. And the Pokemon that fight for them are no better. Nothing will give us greater joy and dissatisfaction than erase them all from existence with a massive verbal nuclear detonation. We'll start with you. You who have caused such suffering. We'll return that agony to you tenfold. Does Uranium look different this time? Yes! At last, we are complete! True power is in our grasp, and if and with it, we have realized our perfect form. Behold, Ghana, you reign! Oh. Oh. Oh my god, thank you! I was trying to channel my inner Kate Mulgrew because I really like her voice. <laughs> uh, okay, well, whoa. Our Pokemon aren't even healed! Theo, if you, could, if you wanted to help me, you could have healed my team before this, but guess I gotta do everything myself then, huh? Jesus. Also, Actan, uh, let's look at his moves, because I don't think Iron Defense is the greatest thing to have. Well, let's just hope things go well. Um, summary. Dark Steel, okay. Intimidate. Metal Cruncher. Uh, these are crunchers up, okay. And Inferno. It will not hit very fast, but I will send out Whimsicott first to get Leech Seed. This is it! This 
is the end. Now I am become death. Level eighty, yeah. Okay, a cop, a apocalypse curie, sent in Uranium. Eighty-five, okay. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, Chernobyl, okay. Toxic fallout has set in, which was probably like super dangerous. Um, just toxic times ten, I'm guessing. Proton beam, whatever. Well, good thing Actan is a steel type because that's resistant to uh, your, um, the radioactive type. Okay, it lost some stats, but it's leech seeded. Yeah, like that's the thing with this game. Some of the designs are like eh, and some of them are just like outstanding. Okay, Yasasaurus Rex is here to save us. Let's go. Um, uh, Metal Cruncher, let's hope for the best. Uh oh. This music is way too cherry for the, like, ultimate battle. But yeah, Uranus is gonna waste all of its stats. I'm gonna get some health back. Easiest battle of my life, honestly. Like, oh my god, it's so cool. And they call, and they said, like, Angel of Death or Destruction and whatever. And it really does look so good. <laughs> like, biblically accurate angel over here. Hey, it really... Honestly, it doesn't look too much like a legendary Pokemon. It looks like it, it's the evil version of Cobalion, which it very much could be, but... 9,000 EXP! What? No, no, no! Niche quote? I don't know. No! Impossible! You... How could you... Be stronger... Than us? It's very easy, actually. You... I'll kill you... All by myself. I'll... Ah! Uh, uh. Ma'am! Oh, now he's please. Okay, great. Oh no, it saves us. Bethis! Oh, it's you. Anyway, uh, bring out Chernobyl again. I, um, anyone? The radiation stopped all of a sudden. Bevis, you did it, didn't you? You stopped your rain. You saved Tandor again. Against all odds, you... You stood up to an unfathomable foe and won. I'm speechless. What you did was incredible. Yeah, that's our mom. <laughs> Is that Curie? It seems like their inf interference was destroyed. That was the helmet that allowed him to control Uraine. Finally. Let's see who the monster's behind that map. What? Her mask got destroyed. She's already here. No, yeah, no, in the opening scene. Um, well, basically, in the opening scene, uh, nuclear explosion, and she was like, no, I have to save this thing. So she goes down into the basement. In Larkspur Lab, uh, later in the game, there is records talking about someone uh finding a specimen and helping it she uh her notes are there or it's implied to be her and well here we are <laughs> oh here comes the pepis you did it you were saved you managed to defeat your ultimate form 
We were taking people to shelter in Victory Road when we heard the news. You... You saved me. You saved all of us again. I'm not crying, I swear. That is really special, you know. I'm so, I'm so glad I know you. No! No. I... I won't believe this. There's... There's no way this can't be true! Lucille, how? How can it be you? Lucille? Lucille is still alive? Lucille's Curie? How can this be? Incredible. She really is alive. She doesn't even look any different from how she did on the day she disappeared in the power plant meltdown a decade ago, when I killed her and threw her in the basement. <laughs> I've never seen or heard anything like this. That was a, just a joke. I don't know why I did that. It's not funny. Hmm. Cameron, d did you did you know about Lucille? Did you know my wife was alive? I barely. I mean, I had considered the possibility, but I didn't think it was likely she'd survive the blast. Somehow she managed to remain alive and undetected for years in the ruins of the power plant, but. Well, she was the head scientist on a power plant Epsilon, a power plant which was used as a fund for its illegal experimentation conducted by Larkspur Laboratories. I thought it might be possible that she was involved in a project which created Uranian. And you didn't mention this to me? Why? Because I thought she was dead, and everyone did, except for you. Silence! I don't want to hear another word. I'm gonna call you a slur! <laughs> Pepis, that's your mom, isn't it? Your mom was Curie? Yeah, seems like I have a mom and you don't. <laughs> Hashtag orphan. <laughs> so then, why'd she do it? Why'd she go all crazy and try and murder everybody? Sorry, no offense, it's just I'm having a hard time understanding why anyone would threaten the entire region. Sir, you are seven years old. You don't have to understand all of this. Epigone, yeah. She hurt me. She hurt my dad, Kellen, too. Yeah, she almost killed me! <laughs> Hashtag orphan. How come she didn't recognize you? Did she lose her memory? It's possible the inter inter interface was responsible. Curie's helmet works as a mental relay. It exchanges thoughts and commands at distance in order to let its wearer control your reign. It's likely that its prolonged use of the interface caused her mind to become frayed, causing her memory to deteriorate and her personality to change completely. Okay, mystery dungeon. In short, she lost her mind. Well, that would require a ridiculous length of time and sustained use, perhaps ten years or so. Hmm, do you think she somehow wore that helmet for ten years? How could she survive for so long? I think I ha might have an idea about that. Pepis, do you remember that tank Curie put me in in Vinoville's power plant? Before they did, they said something like, Now you'll suffer like we have suffered. So I think that they mean, I meant, she, I think she survived in the stasis tank for all those years. That's what she meant. Yeesh, that must have been agony. I mean, I was only inside for a mm, short amount of time, but I was still one of the worst ex experiences in my life. It's like you're not unconscious exactly, but you don't have any way to tell how much time has passed. Every moment in there feels like it lasts forever. Blah, blah, blah. Can I beat your ass already, orphan boy? Kind of makes sense, actually. It explains how she survived for 10 years in the ruins of the power plant. It explains why she went crazy and became Curie. Poor Kellen. His only hope was to see his wife once more. Part of him must be overjoyed that she's somehow alive, but finding out like this is going to be hard for him to cope with this revelation. He's right in front of you! Why are you talking about in third person? Plus, she's going to have to answer for her crimes as Curie. That is, if she wakes up. She needs medical attention. I'm going to make sure she gets there safely. Kellen, do what you must. Star Raptor, let's go. 
And there goes my parents. I'm gonna also be hashtag orphan. Whoa, what? Oh, hi, baby. Oh, it's your rain! Baby! It's your rain! Quick, we gotta beat it again, fast! Before it tries to destroy us again. Wait. Wait, Theo. Something's different about it. It's only it's in its alpha form. It's its least powerful state. True, I don't sense a hostile intent somehow. Without you, Curie, it seems different. Hello? Hello? Did you guys hear that? Where'd that voice come from? Can hear me. Human, listen. I don't believe this. It's using some form of telepathy to communicate. Fascinating. No. No more her. No more hunger. Thing. Athena. Bamboo confirmed empath? <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep peeking the mic, but this is so funny. Acton, do something to your rain. Yes. Yes, friend. Give a gift of eternal energy. No more hunger. No more fear. From what I remember of the legends, Acton is said to be the creator of all radioactive metals. Maybe it's shared some of its power with your rain. Oh my god. Give me some polonium. Incredible flaw in Uranus' design, but it's constant need for fuel. If it ran out of nuclear power, it would go dormant and eventually die. But if the legendary Pokemon gave it a self-sustaining energy source, then it won't need to attack power plants for uranium rods anymore. Sorry, no more hurt. Afraid. I'm so long afraid. Only a friend helped me survive. Two became one, needed each other, and the hunger never stopped. Had to destroy, had to make it go away. Needed energy, only trying to survive. But where did your rain come from? Why was it created? created? I've been trying to figure it out for so long. Remember, they made me in a place dark underground. Every day they came and tests. I tried to reach out, but I couldn't move. No one could hear me. I was alone. All alone. Until... Cerebral U092 Relay. An inhibitor engine. Testing. Testing. Hello. Is someone there? Hello. This is the head scientist on the U092 project. I am transmitting brain waves right now for the experimental Curie interface. Can you uh, transmit some ha some Dagoff wave? I was about to say hashtag again, but I feel like the joke has been overblown at this point. If you can hear me, please respond. What is this? Where am I? What am I? You are an artificial life form that was created in our laboratory. You are a type of something called a Pokemon. But you are one of a kind. There are no others like you. Hello. Data collection is sufficient for now. We will speak again soon. That was the first time, but later we were there again. You would talk to me. We became friends. My name? A name is a special word that describes what you are. You are called U092. That's your experiment number. Most of the time, a number is enough. But what is really special experiments, they get a unique name. You are special, exceptional, really. So you get another name, too. Uraine. My name is Uraine. What is your name? Well, well, aren't you a curious one? Let's just say, because I'm using Curie interface to talk with you, you can call me Curie. Every day, my friend was there, and at night, when all the others left, they stayed behind. They told me about the world beyond the lab, a world I would someday see, and my purpose? To change it for the better. I could create infinite energy, they said, improve the lives of people and Pokemon. This was my purpose. Until one day... Uraine, please respond. Hello. Friend is not happy. I can feel what you feel. Uraine, empath, confirm. Why are you upset? 
Irene, they just told me that they decided to abort the UO92 project. All my years of research, discoveries, and breakthroughs. You. And to destroy you. Destroy me? Why? You were never supposed to have a mind in the first place. You were intended to be an empty shell, a living machine. But as soon as I interfaced with you, I realized that you were so much more than that. That's why I need to cover it up. I hid my findings from the other researchers. If they found out what they... If they found out, they would have destroyed you sooner. Uraine, I didn't tell you this, but experiments like you are highly legal. Creating a new kind of Pokemon is something other humans won't allow. Even one that will help make a world, the world a better place. Dr. Larksburg is a goddamn coward. He'd rather destroy all evidence you ever existed. He's a liar, a fraud, a murderer. I can't believe I never, I ever trusted him. What's happening? What will he do? Uraine, listen to me. I will not allow him to do this. As long as I'm still alive, I will protect you. You deserve to live, and I'm willing to sacrifice everything I have to make sure that's possible. Do you understand? Plot twist? We are Uraine. This was ten years ago. I'm her son. My friend, you'll save me? You'll stop the bad humans from destroying me? I promise you, I'll do whatever it takes. Uraine, we need to act quickly. What's going on? They've activated the remote termination sequence. There's a nuclear reactor above us, and it's about to blow. Both of us will be destroyed when it does. So when, so we need to move fast if we want a chance to survive. What do we do? I don't want to die. <clears throat> the only way that we can both survive, the bass, I've sealed this room completely so that nothing can come in or out. Your stasis tank. It's the only way I'll be shielded from the radiation. But once I go in, there won't be any way I can get out. We'll have to stay in stasis, together. For as long as it is necessary. But I'll have this interface. We'll be connected even while in stasis. This is our only choice. We're out of options. I want to live. Please, don't leave me. I'm scared. Shh. It's going to be okay. I made you a promise. I intend to keep it. I'll never abandon you. I'll always stay by your side. Always. Scared. Hungry. My friend and I together. We were so hungry for so long. And then, we got free. We knew that to stop the hunger, we need nuclear fuel. With our power, it was easy to just take what we needed. But it was never enough. The hunger kept growing. We kept strong. We got stronger and stronger until... I never wanted to hurt anyone. I didn't know what we were doing. That it was wrong. Okay, that was way too much emotion for a creature. The hunger is gone. I've been so afraid for so long. I thought all humans were out to destroy me. But now, I know this is true. You protect your friends. Just like my friend protected me. So that's why I want to join you. I want to travel by your side and see the world without fear. I think... This is what my friend would want. Yes! Yeah, there's a lot of cutscene and we're going to have to go over a lot more. Wait, all the gym leaders are here. Uh, no, I don't want to give it up. I want it to keep its urine name. <laughs> Box 35. Okay, chomp chomp. Let's get going, come on! We have a freaking championship to win oh shit it's talking to me human you have proven yourself worthy i await you in my lair should you wish to battle again we didn't get to keep you rude my goodness this has certainly been an unexpected turn of events i've never in my life witnessed a championship like this one are we even going to hold the final round of battle no, I think Bep is more than deserves to be champ. But we don't have to fight. Oh my god. After all, it's thanks to them that we're all that we're still here right now. As long as you're in agreement, Theo. 
I am. I hereby forfeit the championship. Bethis, I think somehow all along the part of me knew you were destined to win. See? He's so shit. <laughs> disrespectful. Yeah, like... No, that is really disrespectful. How am... Okay, sure. No, but, but beating one singular Pokemon and saving the world is like one thing, but winning a championship is another thing. It's like... Sure, just because a firefighter saved lives doesn't mean that they get to be, like, the winner of a ch tennis championship. Like, you know? <laughs> you know what? I'm thrilled about that. I'm glad I got to be part of your story. Very well. Beppis? Congratulations on becoming the new champion of Tandor! If you'll follow me, please. Oh my god, Hardboard Soul Silver. This is the Hall of Fame. It is somehow somewhere only those who have earned the title of champion can go. Bepis, you've had a very long adventure to arrive here, but now. Yeah, it's been a year! Yeah, kind of anticlimactic, become champion by default just because your opponent withdrew. Yeah! But also, the well deserved slate. Slay! Slay! We had a very long adventure to arrive here, but now the journey is finally at an end. Hashtag game over. Now, let's record your name and the names of your Pokemon for all of posterity. Oh, please tell me Drama Sama's in there. No! <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> I feel like if I'm doing the championship again, I will the all the opponents will be way too strong, so I will just like she deserves to be there. She was there for most of the battles. Oh no. Um. We don't get to see the nice Elotex out. Oh, now we get to. Just fight for one gender for story reasons. Actually, my when I beat the Heart Gold for the champion for the first time, I had a Ho -Oh, a Raikou, and two for alligators four pokemon and that's how i beat the champion in uh the elite four in um heart gold i didn't even fill in the two other spots i just had it empty but also this is so i love the concept art and i love the art on the wiki because it's so cute and like thank you all who watched all the the makers of this game because I feel like even with Drama Sama out of the Hall of Fame like I'm so sorry girl you did not deserve that it was uncalled for but I think this this should be a fine end a nice end there's probably more like text we have to go through when I beat the champion in Harkle first turn I only had Typhlosion and 2HM Pokemon at like level 10 yeah, that was weird. I think the other time I beat... No, like... No, yeah, like, on the same team, I... My... The rest of my team was, like, uh... An unevolved graveler. Oh, look, Minecraft art. Uh... A hypno, and, like, all... None of them were, were level 50. Meanwhile, my Feraligator was at, like, 60. So, yeah, uh... Never let a 10-year-old design a Pokemon team. <gasps> Is that a real plushie? Aww, so cute! Oh my god, Masky! The <laughs> baby! Oh my god. Aww. Aww, I love the R so much. It's so cute. It really gives, like, all of them, like... Because they're all kind of jank, but this gave, gives them a lot of, like, unique personality. Oh, I did not expect Kellen to have facial hair. And I didn't expect Le Lucille to have, like, curly hair. And we're back to the Elatax. I also want the Raptor plushie. I want it now. I want a... Also, I love this art. It's so, like... 
a bit shrink wrap, but it's so cool. Oh, and I love the ore chinks. It's so cute. Yeah, that was Kellen. <laughs> His fucking pube stash. Oh my god, I can cosplay Kellen because I can't grow a mustache to save a life. I, all I get is, like, pube hair. Uh, like, a pube stash. That's all I can do. It's like, I can cosplay Kellen. Oh my god. Thank you, all of these amazing people. Thank everyone who watched these streams. And thank you, Nurmari, for being here. It's amazing to have someone in the end, the final stream. Sorry, I knocked my headphones out. Uh, no, like, I think this was... I think this is my favorite of the Uranus. So, same, and I sat it in Picket because I, when I saw its Mega Evolution, I was like, fuck, that is so cool. Oh look, there's us with the little cute hazmat. Also a game making tool, RPG Maker XP by Enterbrain. Yeah, it was such a lucky time. I'm so... And last one of these auto supporters to help us testing the game, letting an amazing fan on Let's Play streams, comments, etc. Includes you. Thank you. Oh, JB. Saving progress. Okay, but do we get to talk to our parents? No, wait, Granny's here. Good morning, Beppis. Your pa parents are in the other room. Come, let's see them. They're sucking a fucking... <laughs> uh, Lucille, poor dear. Your father brought her home not too long ago. She hasn't woken up yet. Maybe some time before she recovers. Still. But shouldn't she be at a hospital? Don't you guys have an intensive care unit in, like, Beale Beach? After ten years, it's good to have the entire family together under one roof. It's thanks to you, Beppis. You made our whole family- You made our family whole again. It feels as though a huge weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Just happy we're all together again. Oh, that's the oven timer. I baked us all some cookies. Let's go- let me go and get them. Party for everybody dance. Come on and dance, Lucille. There's no way to know how much damage the Curie interface did to her mind, or how long it will take to undo it. But I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I've stepped down as chief of the Tandor Rangers. Looking after her is my number one priority now. Eventually, I'll see your eyes open again, Lucille. A cab. <laughs> still, you might have stepped down, but you still spend years being a shit father. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, she made lava cookies. Great. It's not like I have enough of those. I'll wash it down with this carrot wine. Ten years solitary confinement, murderous rage plus radiation, poisoning is fine to recover from at home. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, Bethis, a letter arrived for you in the mail. It seems that since you became champion of Tandor, you've been receiving a lot of fan mail. It's on the table in the other room. Why did you open it? She doesn't respond. Her breathing is slow, and even though it, and even as though in a deep sleep. Okay, let's check our fan mail. On our Bethis, there is a stirring in the wind. The gods murmur in the deep. A storm brews on the horizon. Our village will soon be in danger. Without your help, Tsukinami will fall. Thin, thank you, Hinata and Kaito. Really good to hear that the avatars of gods are just like, hey, we need help from this kid. It's not like we have a village full of ninjas. Okay. Oh, great. Here comes the fucking disappointment. What did the letter say? It looks so formal. I didn't want to touch it. Well, that's certainly vague. I wouldn't call for aid unless it was something serious, though. I wonder, could it have to do with the pirates? There's a piracy problem in East Tandor. I know that the rangers over there are having a hard time keeping them under control. That's why you attach viruses to all links, so that whenever someone tries to pirate um, something online, just stick a virus on there and they'll stay away. Maybe they could use some help too. East Tandor Ranger HQ is located in Angular Town. 
It's a scenic resort area, but it's also known as a haven for pirates and other riffraff. Further west you sail in Tandor, sea, the Tandor Sea, the more treacherous and lawless it becomes. But if there's anything that can be can deal that can deal with those kinds of conditions, it's you. Okay, so they have ninjas, they have rangers, and probably actual policemen, and maybe even a military, and they really want a ten-year-old to deal with this. Man, I wish I almost I wish I didn't step step in and let just Uranium destroy everything. Excuse me, I have to tend to Lucille. But if you ever need to find me, you'll know where I am. What? Not home with me? No, oh, it's the same letter. Well, um, let's actually no. I I have to go to a Pokemon Center. <laughs> Can we get it? You're a cop. Don't make it your whole personality. Oh no, Theo! God damn it! Um, hi. It's good to see you, Pepis. Guess we came full circle, huh? Back in Noki Town, where it all started. Yep, <laughs> the rangers are basically cops and Tandor for the record. Again, I'm becoming champion. Haha, <laughs> you must be sick of hearing that by now. But yeah, are, aren't like... Well, when most people talk about like, I don't know, authority and stuff like that, don't they also include like, park rangers in some sense? I don't know, I remember reading something like that years ago. Um, well, you deserve it. What you did up? <laughs> <laughs> what you did I almost that stage facing off versus Gamma Uranium. There's nobody in the region more special than you. I mean it. Oh yeah, Dad wanted me to tell you to come to our house when you got a minute. I think he has something to give you. See you there. That's uh, just HM Waterfall. Okay, now to find a freaking PC. Because I want my freaking... <laughs> uh... Look who it is, it's Beppis. <laughs> Sir, I don't have time for this. You've done amazingly, you're the champion of Tandor. Not only that, but you saved the region and got the seal back. To think it all started right here in this very lab. Hey, that reminds me, somebody expected to see Theo tra trailing behind you as usual. Guess he's changed a lot though, even more than you have. And that's the power of puberty, eh? He's seven! Like, what, five months have passed? Like, he was... Five when we started. I'm not even in puberty yet. I'm still ten. Yeah. But wait, weren't there cops in the Ranger games? I'm trying to remember. I think there were. Anyway, the current way to develop for nuclear Pokemon works wonderfully, and it can completely restore their personalities to normal. As we speak, the rangers are clearing out Route 8 and Beanville soon, and it should be habitable for people in Pokemon again. Hey, if you get the chance, I suggest you pay them a visit. I'm sure the people there would be thrilled to see their champion make an appearance. That reminds me, now that you're champion of this, prepare to be at the center of attention. People love their idols. Plus, you're the hero of Tandor too. You probably expect a lot of fan mails, as well as some new challenges. What do you, what do, you do with your newfound fame is up to you. New challenge of the E again, have long awaited again, yeah, yeah. Or you could head out against Angler and Wallace Territory in East Tandor. Yeah, kind of Pokemon and find a source of reward for you. Oh, that reminds me, I have something that might help you with that. It's an invention my engineers and I work not in that lab, it's called the Poker Radar. I think the only game that had both Rangers and, like, Cops was... Well, I've never played the original Ranger game, so probably there wasn't there, but I don't remember any in uh, Shadows of Almia or uh, Signs. But maybe the only game that has both Rangers and Cops is uh, um, Diamond and Pearl, since the Ranger class is a thing and Cops is also a class. No, wait, there is also in Black and White. Yeah, I'm forgetful. Mm -hmm. uh, the radar will help you attract specific kinds. Just like radiant tall grass and Pokemon will be drawn to the sound it makes. Yeah, and shiny. I'm sure you make good use of it. Okay, well, can I please get to a PC and say goodbye to 
the game because we're done here, basically. Sure, I'll probably play it like by myself, but I think we've streamed all the... Because I don't think... Sure, there is a post-game, but I don't think there's anything worth in the post-game. Oh my god, Route 1. It's been so long. I... Huh. I know, there's only one patch of grass here. Or are there two? Because I don't... Oh my god, a cub bug! But yeah, there's still rangers. They still fill the same function. They help people, Pokemon, keep track of the environment. Which I guess is the role of a cop in the Pokemon universe too, I guess. <laughs> Oh wait, the, the freaking international police exists in like all the games after uh, Diamond and Pearl. Looker is in all of them. Uh, wait, no, that's not the... This is the way through Pokemon Center. Okay, we're getting back our baby. Also, we can look at Urain and see what it does. No. Geiger sense. Uranium core. Raises special attack. Special an attack and attack when a nuclear type is in the field. Uh, gamma ray, a blast of nuclear radiation that is super effective on all types. Uh, powerful blast of radioactive waste may cause a burn. And cuts the targets. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just super fang. Let's look at all the Pokemon we got. We got Mar, Nymphlora, and Garibald from like the beginning. Uh, here's our failed S'more because I didn't realize. Oh wait, maybe uh, Queen Anne needs to be female. Uh, a Luna Pop that we used for HMs until we didn't need HMs anymore. Gossamere, which was an event Pokemon. The Volchick that uh, I also taught fly. Oh, Garly Kids. Battle animation is so cool. The Vigilante Pokemon. Uraine, the mascot Pokemon. Here's a bunch of things. Another event. Uh, what more event Pokemon do we have here? Uh, I also caught a nuclear uh, Corsola that I named Curry because I thought it was so cute. This is Becquerel, the. Uh, that looks like Curie, and I think it's a Hasman that has a unique model. Unique model Sableye named Grinch. Uh, who else is here? But yeah, I, I got this one recently. Ostara, the S51. Color we could have made into a, the Frost Moth, or whatever it's called. No, that's the real Pokemon. The Hasma, the little baby! Uh, no wait, no. Leave it alone. And the other cool raptor, and an actual Volchick we got. But yeah, I think this is it. We... Wait, no. Return to game. Save. So yeah, we finished Pokemon Uranium. It's been a year, and I finally finished a game. And that's amazing. Uh, let's check the... Randomizer mode has been unlocked. That's cool. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay, but let's check the mystery gift. Is there something there? No new gifts. Well, I think that will be it. I think we're done here. Let's look at all the cool sprite. But yeah, this has been such a long journey. And this has just been such a long stream. So I will sit and try and cut this into two parts and then I'll upload them later to YouTube and thank you so much for coming here thank you so much for watching and thank you so much uh I can't believe we're done with uranium it's it's I don't know I'm on such a high and yeah uh thank you and good night